What is confidence? The dictionary is going to tell us that confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. It's a firm trust in something. What the heck is confidence in musky fishing? Confidence in musky fishing is knowing that you grab a lure out of your tackle box, doesn't matter what it is, that you have the feeling or the trust in it that that's going to produce given the conditions. For a lot of people, it's the first couple muskies they ever caught on whatever particular lure. That's going to be their confidence lure. We're going to kind of go for a deep dive into this subject and let's start right now. This is a common question that comes up. What's the one lure that you would go to no matter the conditions, etc., etc., etc.? Unfortunately, life's not that easy. It's probably easier for us than a lot of guys. I thought about this subject quite a bit. I reached out to some of my friends on YouTube. We have Matt from Matt Vavrock Fishing. We got Ski from Angling Anarchy. We got Corey from Slump Bust Outdoors. They're a newer channel, but they're going to have a ton of cool content from Southern Ontario. So you definitely want to check them out. And I reached out to my buddy Ryan Reed from the Muskie Hunks podcast. He fishes out in PA. So he's got a completely different take on what a confidence lure is to him. So I think it'll be interesting when we look at how some of these other anglers look at what a confidence lure is and I kind of asked them give me your confidence lure or give me one for good conditions versus bad conditions we'll kind of see where that goes I talked about it with Dave we always kind of gravitate towards the same type of lures on a given set of conditions and for me a confidence lure is one that I know I can work really well I know I can use it in a variety of different situations, and it's one that even if the fish aren't biting, I know it's going to pull fish out and I'm going to see fish. And in good conditions, which is what I would call, you know, like your kind of classic prefrontal, we got a storm rolling in from the west, we got, you know, prime time on the water, what's the one lure that I'm going to grab? Big shock, it's a blade with no name from Dadson Blade Baits. When I got this a couple of years ago, we just weren't prepared for how good of a blade this is. I know I've said it's probably the best blade bait I've ever had, and I stand by that. It just works, and we have like a bunch of trickery from Johnny Dadson back there, but this is the one that I reach for more often than not because I know it works in a variety of different ways. I can run it around weeds, I can run it around rocks, I can run it deep, I can slow roll it off of brake lines. It's just something that I have a lot of confidence in. Yeah, it helps that I've caught a lot of fish on this, but it also helps that I know how to use it. So for a lot of you guys out there, if you're looking for that confidence lure and you haven't caught a bunch of fish yet, think of which baits can you use in a variety of different ways because on a great day, Almost any bait will work, but on a tough day, it's only going to be certain baits that work. So you guys have to really know how to use that bait. And for us, a blade with no name, whether it's in my hands, Dave's hands, anybody else in the boat, I just know that this one's going to produce. And as a bit of a side note, I just happen to have six brand new ones, and you guys are seeing them here first. I did do a quick Instagram post, but these ones are brand new. Just got them. They are super hard to get. Almost nobody gets them outside of the Dadson family. Another one here. All the toe tags that comes with them. And I got three other ones. And for one lucky viewer, we're going to give one of these away in the next couple weeks. So definitely follow along. And because we've given some of these away on Instagram and Facebook, I think I'm going to keep one of these contests just to YouTube. So you guys that are watching, follow along and we're going to have a special contest that one of you guys is going to win a blade with no name. I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet, but if you guys want to get a blade with no name, stick around. So having a lure produced like a blade with no name makes things easy because Again, it just, it's that confidence. I know that those lures work for us in a variety of ways. Great weather, even on bad weather, that's not a bad choice for us because we have a lot of experience with it. But when I started thinking about poor conditions, so we're thinking that classic post-frontal, bluebird, calm days, tough fishing, high skies, hot, 
The easy answer for us, and I don't want to cloud this because I asked the guys to keep it pretty, you know, one or two lures don't really go too far, so we keep it simple for you guys. I could have went with the dive and rise like a suic or the dipstick or a whole host of them that I have behind us. Scallywag from Lumox. Those are all great choices. And we do use those. I do use it. But when the conditions are really tough and I need a search tool that I know is going to move some fish. And again, I can use it in a variety of different ways. And you guys that have followed the channel will know. It's a Bondi Royal Orba, and I love the junior size. This is a junior. This is the very first one I got from John Bondi. It is completely bent out of shape. I've fixed it I don't know how many times. I've put on a couple different tails. This one has been repaired more times than I care to admit. This one has probably caught 20 or 30 fish on it on its own. But this is a lure that I can go to and almost any situation the tougher the conditions the more i'll reach for a lure like this and it just it's one of those lures that you just cannot go wrong with up here on these shield lakes and i've talked about it in past videos right here where it's just it's overlooked by so many people i know it doesn't look like much it just it just doesn't but it works so well and it's just one that i think everybody needs to have or at least try and give this thing a shot. They're just amazing. And for me, it's a confidence lure. I know when I put it on that something is going to happen. I'm going to get a follow. I'm going to get a fish. Something will happen because I have confidence in the Bondi Royal Orba. Confidence in musky fishing is such a strange thing. The lures that I picked might not work for other people. But that's okay because everybody has something that they know works for them. When I reached out to the guys, I kind of knew what a few of them were going to kind of, you know, come back with just because we watch a lot of what they do on their channels and we know their tendencies and what works for them. And it's easy in a video type of format to see what guys are throwing because they're going to constantly go back to those confidence lures. But I really like Ryan's take on it. I'm going to start with Ryan because he comes from just a different world than shield fishing. And I just, I love his approach to it. So let's check out Ryan Reed. What's up guys, Ryan Reed here from the Muskie Hunks podcast. Glenn had reached out to me to talk confidence baits. Now guys, I'm from the great state of Pennsylvania and in Western Pennsylvania, we're historically known for very solid legendary muskie lures. We've had many, many solid bait makers like Ed Ladiano, Dale Wiley, and of course, one of my favorites, Todd Leopardi and Leo Lures. Now, when I think confidence baits, I go right to my Leo Lures. Todd has been making lures since 1989. He's been putting out products that just flat out catch fish for many, many, many years. Now guys, you can cast these baits, you control these baits, and they work all year round from early season all the way through summer up into fall. He's got multiple profiles of these baits. Again, applications, you guys want a short line in the spring, you guys want to run a little bit deeper in the summer, you want to upsize your baits for fall, these two baits will do everything that you need to do in pretty much whatever color you're, you're looking for. This particular bait is called the Leo Mojo, and this is called a Leo Magnum Mojo. Todd is probably one of the best painters in the country. He just puts out awesome fish catching colors. These baits are just meant to catch fish. They're meant to throw back and fish just eat them. He does tons and tons of colors to match your bodies of water. So the mojos have a five to one ratio. So every five feet of line, typically another foot down. The magnums, they're gonna run a touch deeper. And really, again, applications for these baits from spring all the way through fall into winter. They flat out catch fish. So if you guys are not aware of the Leo Lures, go out to leolures.com. Check out these awesome baits right here. Leo Lures, Western PA, we troll hard and we troll fast. And these babies put fish in the boat. Moving on from Ryan, I'm going to go with Matt Vavrock. He fishes Iowa, Wisconsin, and he has a lot of success on a lot of different lures. But he comes with a couple that, again, I kind of knew based on what his videos are. But what he does with his lures is so unique to his style of fishing 
but it's something that I think a lot of you guys could get something from. So let's check out Matt Vavrock. All right, so Glenn asked me recently for my 54 seconds with what is most effective with my portion of the musky range. So when times are tough or times are really good, I have a lot of success on rubber. This is a Chaos Tackle Mid Dusa. Uh, I did really, really well with these this season. They put a ton of fish in the boat. They're easy for people to work, and they trigger lots of bites. The second one, if you follow my stuff, is going to come as no surprise, especially for my section here. Uh, in Iowa and in um, Wisconsin as well and that's going to be the Ridgeway Custom Twitch. 10 inch, 9 inch, if the fish are active and they're chewing it is hard to beat these lures just from the sheer standpoint of moving water and presence in the water those fish can track it down and smoke it. So I'll turn it back to Glenn, thanks for having me on. From that we're going to head over to Corey from Slump Bust Outdoors and Corey's take kind of surprised me. Corey's done some fishing up in my area on Cedar Lake, and his selection of lures, while not radically different, it kind of surprised me because it's not one of them is a lure that I don't see or hear used a lot up on Shield Lake. So let's check out Corey. All right, uh, Corey Maxfield from Slump Bust Outdoors. Uh, Glenn asked us to put together a quick video on our confidence baits under good conditions and under poor conditions. Uh, it should come as no surprise to anyone, but um, blades, 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 blades. Uh, it's even featured in our logo. Um, recently, we've uh, really liked an offset uh, stagger style blade. Um, it really puts an offset vibration in the water and a lot of times those aggressive uh, muskies that are going into a feeding window are able to really key in on that that thump that vibration in the water and it uh, it'll trigger a bite so the other thing about blades is don't be afraid to get creative so um, we also like single blades uh, it's something that uh, with a trailer but it's something that uh, muskies haven't felt a lot of recently we feel um, not a lot of guys are throwing them anymore um, and again don't be afraid to get creative with the blades uh, throwing that unique vibration into the water uh, is key sometimes uh, to triggering those fish uh, when a when a hot feeding window's coming um, it'll get them to bite so let's dive in to poor conditions for us uh, pull pause. So I couldn't just pick one bait uh, because it's more of a style than a bait, but on Shield Lakes, uh, the beaver bait, we have a ton of confidence in. We've caught a number of fish on this bait under uh, poor conditions, and it's got a really unique fall with the weighted head, and that tail comes around sort of fly-esque. Um, so yeah, a lot of confidence on Shield Lakes with the beaver bait. So a big thanks uh, to Glenn for including SBO on his 54 bus video on confidence baits. Uh, hopefully we can hook up with uh, Glenn up in Northwest Ontario sometime soon, uh, and put some of those confidence baits to use uh, with the 54 bus crew. Uh, thanks again. And we look forward to you guys on the next one. Brian Scaife, he's, he's like a master at catching fish on video, producing such an amazing amount of content. He's a big part of the reason why I'm doing what we're doing here with YouTube. I look up to him as a mentor. I'm constantly calling him, asking him for advice. But when he gives fishing advice, it's definitely worth listening to. I love his take on it. And when he's talking about coming up to Canada and fishing Eagle Lake, even locals that live here, Listen to what Brian has to say. Let's check out Brian Scaife from Angling Anarchy. What's going on, everybody? Brian from Angling Anarchy here. My good friend Glenn asked me a question. What is your go-to bait in good conditions, and what is your go-to bait in poor conditions? I would say my go-to bait in good conditions when everything is just right, the fish you're eating is going to be a, a smaller bucktail, single eight, double eight, something like that. Um, hookup percentage is high. You can move really fast uh, and search for fish with this and this is definitely my go-to when things are good when things are tough maybe a cold front maybe high skies that sort of thing i'm gonna go with a medusa any size will do i like a mid medusa because i like my shoulders and these guys are 
easier to throw. I usually put a little deep threat weight to get it down. A lot of times those fish are maybe hanging a little bit lower in the water column and something buzzing up on top might not get their attention, but something that gets down in their strike zone might just do it. So that's my answer. Whatever lure that you use that you have confidence in or you want to build confidence in, you have to throw it a lot. You have to start having some success, but it's it goes deeper than that. You have to understand the fundamentals of lure types. You have to understand what you're comfortable with. And again, it's deeper than that. It falls back on details, small details on how you run a bucktail versus how you run a topwater versus how you run a suic. Check out this video right here where we talk about details that will help you win or lose in musky fishing. Hopefully today's kind of exploration of confidence lures from across the musky range will help you guys. And until next time, 54 Bus is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.